Hello everyone! Welcome back to MCU Monday with me, KL. Today we are wrapping up phase two of the MCU with Ant-Man from 2015, starring the wonderful, the amazing, the handsome Paul Rudd. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're not yet caught up on my MCU journey, definitely click up here to get my playlist and go watch all of my reactions so far. The only thing I know about this movie is that it stars Paul Rudd. I don't know what his non-hero name is. I don't know what any other characters are in this movie. I don't know if we're going to see anyone we've already met and known. I am going to treat this kind of like Guardians of the Galaxy, where I just am going to assume that we're meeting all new people and that we're not going to get anyone that we have already known from past movies, like our Avenger friends. Uh, so yeah. We'll see what happens. I will say, though, that I'm almost positive that I actually saw part of this movie way back in 2015, but if I did, I have zero recollection of it. <laughs> I'm basically having another Terminator moment where I go into this movie being like, yep, there's definitely scenes I'm going to remember, and then I watch the movie and I'm like, I didn't remember any of that, so I feel like this movie is going to be another one of those. As always, full-length reaction to this and so much more is over on Patreon, along with Discord and exclusive reactions and Member of the Month program and newsletters and just so many things on my Patreon. It is quite the community over there and if you want to join us you know where to click and i also want to extend a huge thank you to all of these commenters for leaving these super nice words on past mcu reactions of mine thank you so much to everyone who leaves comments i love reading them y'all are the best thank you for being here again thank you for watching thank you to everyone and with that let's press play Nineteen eighty-nine. Stock. He doesn't seem happy. Hello, Hank. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. Oh, we are seeing people we have met before. The Pym particle is the most revolutionary science ever developed. Help us put it to good use. That you turn me into your errand boy, and now you try to steal my research. If only you'd protected Janet with such ferocity, Dr. Pym. Pym particle. <laughs> Easy, Hank. You mention my wife again, and I'll show you ferocity. Don't look at me. You said it. I formally tender my resignation. We don't accept it. Formally. We need you. The Pym Particle is a miracle, please. As long as I am alive, nobody will ever get that formula. Hmm. Interesting. You've already lied to him. Now you want to go to war with him. Yes. Our scientists haven't come close to replicating his work. I've known Hank Pym for a long time. He's no security risk, unless we make him one. So I wonder if what he developed ends up being the cause of the person who is Ant-Man. I don't know. <laughs> I love Spanish music so much. Oh. This looks like a prison. This right now. Oh. I miss you, Scott. Scott. I miss you okay. too, Peachy. Man, you guys got the weirdest goodbye rituals. <laughs> I love this actor so much. Oh my gosh. The name is lost on me right now, though. I'm so sad. I took out my scarf from a year ago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm ready for this duo. Hey, how's your girl, man? Ah, uh, she left me. Oh. oh. Yeah, my mom died too. Oh. And my dad got deported. So but just... I got the van. It's nice. Yeah, right? Thanks for the hookup too. Okay, I actually thought maybe he was joking for a sec about all that, but never mind. I'm not going back. I got a daughter to take care of. You know that jobs don't come easy for ex-cons, right? Look, man, I got a master's in electrical engineering, all right? I'm gonna be fine. Welcome to Baskin Robbins. Would you like to try our mango fruit blast? I'll have a burger, please. Bro, look at the menu. <laughs> Three years at San Quentin, huh? Baskin Robbins always finds out. I'm sorry, I, you know, it was, I, I don't do it anymore. I just try to- Respect. I couldn't be happier about it. Really? Yeah, we really stuck it to those billionaire SOBs. And the more <laughs> I read about what you did and stuff, I'm like, wow, I know this guy. <laughs> I'm in charge of this guy. Amazing. I really just yeah, appreciate the yeah. opportunity to Well, you're fired, of course. I mean, dude, oh. can't really keep you on. Wait, what? Well, that sucks. I can imagine, though, that it would probably be really difficult to find a job after being in jail, but we gotta give those people a chance, though. Otherwise, how are they supposed to live post-jail? It's not like we've made our world a place where you can easily live without a job or any form of income coming in, so. Hey, Scotty, what's up? Ooh, look at all these waffles. Baskin Robbins always finds out, bro. Baskin Robbins, don't play. That's Kurt. He was Folsom for five years. He's a wizard on that laptop. Nice to meet you. Who are you? 
Dave. Dave. Nice work on the Vista job. I hate violence. I burgled them. I'm a cat burglar. You mean you're a pussy? Yeah. He hacks into the security system and transfers millions back to the people that they stole it from. Why are you telling my life story to these guys? My cousin talked to this guy two weeks ago about this little perfect job. No way. I'm not going back to jail. It's some retired millionaire living off his golden parachute. But he's done. I would be too. M Technologies. So either... Yes. Oh, he I'm is still, still alive. alive. <laughs> Jinx. <laughs> I was just about to say either someone has carried on his legacy or he's still alive. <laughs> oh, that actor. Hope, would he kill you to call me dad? Oh, what movie was he in that I know him from? I was surprised to receive any kind of invitation. Oh, was it not a movie? Here. Wasn't he in House of Cards? I'm pretty sure he was in House of Cards. Long time no see, Dr. Bim. How's retirement? How's your face? Bro, that was like... <laughs> that was a long... That was decades ago, dude. <laughs> How's your face? Jeez. When I took over this company for Dr. Pim, I immediately started researching a part. Okay, so the company was taken over. Why this revolutionary idea remained buried beneath the dust and cobwebs of Hank's research, I couldn't tell you. But just imagine a soldier the size of an insect. The ultimate secret weapon. An ant man. <laughs> That's what they called you, right, Hank? Wait, Hank was Ant-Man? Will you tell our guests what you told me every single time I asked you? Was the Ant-Man real? Just a tall tale. Right. But Ant-Man will become real. And I'm curious how Scott ends up being the one that they make Ant-Man. Like, how does that... Like, like, is that what Luis was referring to with this, like, perfect job? I don't think so. And with my breakthroughs shrinking inorganic material, I thought, could it be possible to shrink a person? It's not a legend anymore. This guy is totally going to be the bad guy. He just feels like the bad guy to me. The yellow jacket. The yellow jacket is an all-purpose weapon of war. Appropriate name. It's time to return to a simpler age. One where the powers of freedom can once again operate openly to protect their interests. And one day soon, an army of yellow jackets will create a sustainable environment of well-being around the world. No thanks. <laughs> so it's a suit. Don't be crude, Frank. It's not a suit, it's a, it's a vessel. I'm also concerned. I'm also Imagine concerned. Imagine what our enemies could do with this tech. Exactly. But also, in general, I don't know that I would want, like, an army of essentially wasps that could do that. Can do that. There's a reason that I buried these secrets. So you finally admit it. We could have done this together, Hank, but you ruined that. Yeah, this guy is giving me villain vibes, but I'm kind of here for it. I feel like he would play a good villain. You sell to me first. 20% of your asking price. I can have the cash here in two weeks. Oh. Deal. How close is he? He still can't shrink a live subject. Oh. You just give me the suit and let me finish this once and for all. No. I think I found a guy. And how? <laughs> how did their paths cross? <laughs> I didn't know what time your party started. It was on the invitation. He didn't get an invitation. Oh. That's... I'm not going to miss my little girl's birthday party. Yeah. I'm paid a dime of child support. You know, right now, if I wanted to, I could arrest you. It's good to see you too, Paxton. Can I open it now? Of course, sweetheart. It's your birthday. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are my bestest friend. What is that thing? He's so ugly. I love him. <laughs> yeah, see, that's a dad that knows his daughter. You can't just show up here. You know that. Come I'm on. My daughter. You know right. the first thing about being a father. Oh, fuck off. Your fiance <laughs> is an ass hat. He's not an ass hat. Hey, watch your language, okay? Oh, what language? Yeah. Yeah. I said hat. I'm trying. Okay, I've changed it. I'm straight. I've tr I had a job and I missed so much time and I want to be a part of her life. You're her hero, Scott. Be the person that she already thinks you are. Aw, that's really sweet. I feel like there's nobody better to motivate you than your own kid. Especially one <laughs> like that age. <laughs> All right, so far I have no recollection of this movie. So if I have seen it before, I don't remember it. We can't just do whatever we want. But there are laws. What laws? Of man? The laws of nature transcend the laws of man. And I've transcended the laws of nature. But you haven't shrunk anyone yet. 
I don't think you understand. Uh, oh. Hmm. We still haven't worked out all the bugs. Oh my god. Goodbye, Frank. Okay. Yeah, definitely the villain. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I feel like he's going to make a yellow jacket successfully. And then our buddy Scott's going to be the Ant Man, and those two are going to fight each other because i feel like he just tried to turn that guy or maybe he intentionally killed him god i don't know oh that's heartbreaking tell me about that tip what oh baby time Hot dogs. it's so on right now calm down all right i just need to know where it came from i was at a wine tasting with my cousin ernesto it was delightful and he tells me about this girl he tells me that she's working as a housekeeper now right and she's dating this dude, Carlos, who's a shot caller from across the bay. And she tells him about the dude that she's cleaning for. Okay, so I'm understanding it's like a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend. And it all just got passed through. Smith, just chill it. Of course, Ernesto comes to me because he knows I got mad demon skills. Of course, I ask him, did Emily tell Carlos to tell you to get to me what kind of safe it was? And whatever's in it has got to be good. What? <laughs> that was very confusing. There's an old man, he's got a safe, and he's gone for a week. Let's just work with that. Hmm, so now I'm even more curious how this all happens, you know? This guy really loves his waffles, damn. I'm kind of sad that he's going back into a criminal activity. Sometimes it is hard to break off from what you know, I guess. Okay, parkour, Jesus. Alarm is dead. Nice. a fingerprint lock on the door. Oh man, are we screwed? Not necessarily. Is he about to get all CSI on this now? <laughs> and lift a fingerprint off of something? <laughs> now is it the right fingerprint? Okay. Well, they weren't kidding. This safe is serious. Yeah. It's a Carbondale. It's from 1910. Can you crack it? Well, here's the thing. It doesn't do so well in the cold. So what is his plan exactly? I don't know anything about breaking into safes. Hmm. What are you doing? I poured water in the locking mechanism and froze it with nitrogen. Ice expands. Metal doesn't. What are you doing now? Waiting. For a kaboom? Alright. Nice. That worked out okay. I love that he brought an inflatable mattress. There's nothing here. What'd you say? It's a, a suit. What? Uh... There's no cash, no jewelry, nothing? No. Okay, so this, is that a camera <laughs> on an ant? Oh my gosh. Ah, I love how he watched him do that. That's funny. No, not the sheep. Or that's a lamb. I, is that a, I can't tell if it's a sheep or a lamb. Deer past me, uh, a baby sheep is a lamb. Commence experiment 34C. She's like horrified. Why would you lock this up? I love that you took it. Okay, so my question is answered about like how the connection happens. Okay, I think I'm piecing together. So the other guy that is trying to just like zap to make them shrink. This seems like it's all part of the suit. Like you put it on and you'll shrink. Well, you put it on and then you press something. <laughs> That's good. It's kind of cool suit. Oh, is it those maybe? I wonder. What is this? Oh my god. Yeah, there it is. Wow. 
world sure seems different from down here, doesn't it, Scott? What? Who said that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the way this is filmed is wild. No. No. Oh my god, I no. Not bad for a test drive. Keep the suit. I'll be in touch. <laughs> he's like, I want nothing to do with this. Holy fuck. I love how he's coming back to return it. That's hilarious. Get down the ground. No. You are under no, I didn't steal anything. I was returning something I stole. <laughs> you know, you almost had us convinced that you were going to change your ways. It's going to break their hearts. You got a visitor. Who? Your lawyer. Hank. I told you I'd be in touch, Scott. I'm starting to think that you prefer the inside of a jail cell. Sit down. Maggie was right about you. How do you know about She's trying to keep you away from Cassie. The moment things get hard, you turn right back to crime. You can either spend the rest of your life in prison or go back to your cell and await further instructions. I don't understand. No, I don't expect you to. I don't understand either. <laughs> Why do you think I let you steal that suit in the first place? What? Oh, but how do... <sighs> Second chances don't come around all that much. So the next time you think you might see one, I suggest you take a real close look at it. But how did Hank find out about this guy? That's really gross, but also really clever. Is Daddy a bad man? I heard some grown up say he's bad. Daddy just gets confused sometimes, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh. Do it. Do it now. Whoa. This is cool. I'm not a huge, I'm not an insect fan though. Like bugs of all kinds. Just, I don't do well with bugs. But I am enjoying the idea of this. Smart choice. You actually listen for once. Yeah, this would be a no for me. Oh my god, no. Get back! Get back! Scott, these are my associates. Huh? Is that a camera on an ant? Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> Where's the car? No car. We've got wings. Incoming! Oh gosh. Put your foot on the central node and mount the thorax. Are you kidding? How safe Just is get that? on the damn ant, Scott. <laughs> Now, what's the next move? Hang on tight. Oh, this is easy. I'm getting the hang of this. Yank up to go up. It's like a horse. You're throwing 247 off balance. Wait, his name is 247? He doesn't have a name. He has a number, Scott. Do you have any idea how many ants <laughs> there are? Be really hard to name them all. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I'm controlling 247. He is not listening to you. What happens if I throw up in this helmet? It's my helmet, Scott. You do not throw up. I would never want to experience the world this small. I'm really interested to know exactly how they filmed this, though, because I'm finding it really fascinating. I'm loving all, like, the the macro, like, close-up shots. I'm assuming it's just, like, two separate shots edited in together, of course. But it just looks really smooth. Because the last time you were here, you stole something. Hey, look. Whoa. Ew. Giant tropical bullet ants ranked highest on the Schmidt Pain Index. They're here to keep an eye on you when I can. Dr. Pym's waiting for you downstairs. You don't bite me. I don't step on you. Deal? Okay, we can try this, and when he fails, I'll do it myself. She's a little bit anxious. It has to do with his job. What job? I was very impressed with how you managed to get past my security system. Scott, I've been watching you for a while. Oh. Ever since you robbed Vista Corp. Oh. Vista security system was one of the most advanced in the business. It was supposed to be unbeatable, but you beat it. Okay. 
I'm getting some answers. How do you make them do that? I use electromagnetic waves to stimulate their olfactory nerve center. I speak to them. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Pim? You don't need to raise your hands, Scott. <laughs> Who are you? Who is she? What the hell's going on? And can I go back to jail now? You want to go back to jail? No. No, 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 no. I learned how to change the distance between atoms. That's what powers the suit. It was too dangerous. So I hid it from the world. And that's when I switched gears and I started my own company. I took on a young protege called Darren Cross. I thought I saw something in him, a son I never had, perhaps. He had rumors about what was called the Pym Particle. And he became obsessed with recreating my formula. But I wouldn't help him, so he conspired against me and he voted me out of my own company. The board's chairman is my daughter, Hope. She was the deciding vote. Oh. But she came back to me when she saw how close Cross was to cracking my formula. One isn't protected by a specialized helmet. It can affect the brain's chemistry. I don't think Darren realizes this. Yeah, I don't think he realizes that either. So what do you want from me? If you can help me, I promise I can help you be with your daughter again. Aww. We love a redemption arc. This is not stealing shit are done. What do you want me to do? I want you to break into a place <laughs> and steal some shit. Uh, funny. Uh, yeah. What's news? Are you uh -oh. trying to find my daddy? Uh, yeah, I am, sweetheart. Hope you don't catch him. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> This isn't gonna work, I don't think. Oh, maybe it did. <gasps> oh, damn. That's Mitchell Carson, ex head of defense at Shield. Oh, Shield, okay. Unless we break in and steal the yellow jacket and destroy all the data, Darren Cross is gonna unleash chaos upon the world. I think our first move should be calling the Avengers. I spent half my Hank's life gonna be to like, nope. <laughs> out of the hands of a Stark. I'm sure as hell I'm not gonna hand deliver it to one now. This is not some cute technology like the Iron Man suit. This could change the texture of reality. You know, I, yeah, I agree. This is a big deal. Then why don't you just send the ants? Ants, they can do a lot of things, but they still need a leader. Right, I mean, I'm a good thief, but this is insane. He's right, Hank, and you know it. I'm wearing the suit. Absolutely not. Screw oh, around. Please. He is Listen a criminal. Me, please. I'm your daughter. No! Awkward. She's right, Hank. I'm not your guy. Why don't you wear the suit? You think I don't want to? I can't. Spend years wearing it. It took a toll on me. You're our only option. Before Hope lost her mother, she used to look at me like I was the greatest man in the world. And now she looks at me and it's, it's just disappointment. This is your chance, the chance to earn that look in your daughter's eyes, to become the hero that she already thinks you are. I need you to be the Ant-Man. All right. You charge big, you dive small, then you emerge big. He'll get it. He'll get it, though. So you have the force of a 200-pound man behind a fist a hundredth of an inch wide. You have to know how to punch. I was in prison for three years. I know how to punch. Mm. Terrible. You want to show me how to punch? Show me. <laughs> She's been looking forward to this. Oh, I bet. <laughs> in martial arts at a uh, difficult time. Oh, by difficult time, he means when my mother died. We lost Ooh. her in a plane crash. Oh. It's bad enough you won't tell me how she died. Could you please stop telling me that lie? Oh. You know, I think this regulator is holding Do me back. Do not screw with the regulator. If that regulator is compromised, you would go subatomic. It means that you would enter a quantum realm. It means that you would enter a reality where all concepts of time and space become irrelevant as you shrink for all eternity. Oh, so he just keeps shrinking to infinity? Loyal, brave, and your partner's on this job. Paratrachina longicornis, commonly known as crazy ants. Well, oh, you're not so crazy. It's like a dog. <laughs> You're cute. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not cute. Oh, no, 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 no. Bullet ants, right? Number oh. one on the Schmidt pain index. Hey, guys, remember me from the bedroom? 
The Yellow Jacket pod is hermetically sealed, and the only access point is a tube we estimate to be about five millimeters in diameter. The tube is protected by a laser grid, and we can only power that down for 15 seconds. Caffeinotis Pennsylvanicus. Alternatively known as a carpenter ant. I'm gonna call him Anthony. <laughs> I love that name. Has no weapons, so I made you these discs. Red shrinks, blue enlarges. Whoa. Known for their bite, the fire ants have evolved into remarkable architects. They are handy to get you in and out of difficult places. They're not listening to me. You have to commit. You have to mean it. Oh! I don't know why I came to you in the first place. Oh, this father-daughter dynamic is interesting to me. <clears throat> I like a want more information. <laughs> you know when my mother died? I didn't see him for two weeks. He was in grief. Yeah, so was I, and I was seven. And he never came back, not in any way that counted. He just sent me off to boarding school. That's not good. He trusts you. Then why are you here? I'm expendable. That's why I'm here. I mean, that's why I'm in the suit and you're not. He'd rather lose this fight than lose you. Clear your mind, Scott. You have to make your thoughts precise. That's how it works. Think about Cassie, about how badly you want to see her, and use that to focus. Good advice. Open your eyes and just think about what you want the ants to do. That's good. Aw, a little bit of approval. I love this house, by the way. This house is really nice. Your mother convinced me to let her join me on my missions. They called Aww. her the wasp. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't regret having said yes. That's why he doesn't want her in the suit. It was 1987. Oh, shit. Separatists had hijacked a Soviet missile silo in Kursk and launched an ICBM at the United States. Well. The only way to the internal mechanics was through solid titanium. I knew I had to shrink between the molecules to disarm the missile. Your mother, she didn't hesitate. She turned off her regulator and went subatomic to deactivate the bomb. Your mom died a hero. Yeah. And I spent the next 10 years trying to learn all I could about the quantum realm. You're trying to bring her back. But all I learned was we know nothing. It's not your fault. She made her choice. I was trying to protect you. I didn't mean to lose you, too. This is awesome. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you know, you guys are breaking down walls. You're healing. <laughs> Jesus. That was not the thing to say. The moment, <laughs> you, yes. Yes, she did, yes. <laughs> wow. I'm going to make some tea. <laughs> Ooh. All right, he's getting better. Look at them lining up. Oh my gosh. The final phase of your training will be a stealth incursion. You must retrieve this prototype of a signal decoy. It's a device that I invented during my shield phase. We need it to counteract the transmission blockers that Cross installed in the future's vault. It's currently collecting dust in one of Howard Stark's old storage facilities in upstate New York. Squadron A, go! B, go! Hey, didn't you say this was some old warehouse? It's not! Is this the Avengers facility from Age of Ultron at the end? It looks like it. Kind of, I think. I like that in this movie we have, like, connections to S.H.I.E.L.D., Stark, the Avengers, kind of, but, like, they're not involved? Oh! Never mind. What's going on down there, Sam? It's the Falcon! Never mind. I had a sensor trip, but I'm not seeing any. Hi, Sam. Wait a second. Aboard, Scott. Aboard now. Good it's to okay. see you. He can't see me. I can see you. He can see me. I'm Scott. <laughs> Did he just say hi, I'm Scott? I'm a big fan. <laughs> Appreciate it. So who the hell are you? I'm Ant-Man. Ant-Man. <laughs> what, you haven't heard of me? I was hoping I could grab a piece of technology. Just for a few days, I'm going to return it. Located the breach, bringing him in. Sorry about this. Breach is an adult male who has some sort of shrinking tech. Oh, I didn't realize Falcon could do this. Be able to see super small things like that. 
That's actually good to know. Oh gosh. I was not expecting Falcon to show up. This is awesome. That's enough! Can we just be allies, please? Please, 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 please. I wonder, I feel like Hank doesn't know about Falcon. He's inside my pack! Sorry! Oh my gosh. Oh, and that doesn't work now either. It's really important to me that Cap never finds out about this. <laughs> you jeopardized everything. Oh, but he got it. Well done. Hey, how about the fact that I fought an Avenger and you didn't <laughs> die? No! Oh. I have good news. The company you created is about to become one of the most profitable operations in the world. We're anticipating 15 billion in sales tomorrow alone. I'm nervous. Sure, Derek. I'm sure. I'll be there. All those years ago, you picked me. What did you say? I saw myself. Why did you push me away? Because I saw too much of myself. Mm. He knows. He's baiting you. We have to call it off. I still get nothing but contempt from him. Don't let him rile you up. He's just, he's just a senile old man. Tripling security. Full sensors at all entrances and exterior air vents fitted with steel micro mesh. I'm so lucky to have you on my team. Yeah, I think he knows. How are we going to get Scott inside? The water main. Pressure is too strong, but if we can decrease it, that's how I get in. That's an all right idea. How are we supposed to do that? So we expand our team. Louis. Louis. No, 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 not those three wombats. Thank you for the coffee, ma'am. <laughs> it's not too often that you rob a place and they get welcome back. Oh, his name is Michael Pena, right? Pena? Pena? I've enjoyed every role that he has played in every movie that I've seen him in. On your left side. Damn. Whoa, that's so cool, bro. Oh. How'd you do that, bro? Don't freak out. Look at your shoulder. Ah! Ah! Get off! Get off! Go! Go! Get off! Wait, I thought Daddy didn't get scared. I want to thank you for. No, please don't. We're all doing this for reasons much bigger than any one of us. You know, the honest truth is, I actually went from despising you to almost liking you. No. Get some sleep, Scott. I feel like he's not gonna sleep. If I were him, I'd be too nervous, I think. Oh, is he gonna sneak in to see her? Yes. Oh my gosh. All right, just so we're clear, everyone here knows their role, right? Dave? Wheels on the ground. Kurt? Eyes in the sky. Luis? Oh man, you know it. You know what? I get to wear a uniform. That's what's up. And plus, your girlfriend's really hot, so, you know, that makes me nervous too. And you are very beautiful, ma'am. Oh my lord. Step out. We're set. Wish me luck. Hey, what are you doing? Uh, boss man said to secure the area. So, so I'm securing it. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I love this teamwork. I never thought I'd be saying awe about a bunch of ants. Considering the Crown Vicks are the most commonly used car for undercover cops, man. Yes, this is a problem. They're looking for Scott. Well, they're looking for Pim first to find Scott. Ow! 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 See, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I call it. An, an unfortunate casualty. This is so unserious. Signal decoy in place. Looks like Pim's getting a wrist. Dip! 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 What is he doing? Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, that works. How do I look? You look great, to be honest. I do find that actor attractive physically. Also, the suit, just in general, that is a very nice suit. Good colors, nice tie, fits well. A little over the top, don't you think, Darren? No, you can never be too sick. You really did it. Oh, I don't like this. Seating to command position. I'll be right back, Anthony. I'm gonna signal the ants. No, 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 no! Oh. Yeah. Did you see that? <laughs> no, why 
did you do that? Ugh. Servers have tried. Data backup completely erased. My associates have agreed to your terms. Here, the representatives of Hydra. No. They're doing some interesting work. Oh, no. You tried to hide your technology from me, and now it's going to blow up in your face. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. Anybody home? All right, guys, I'm here. I'm setting the charges. Great job, guys. I'll take it from here. Good boy, Anthony. Final position. Out of the van! This is not good. Will not move! Go now! Wait! What? What do you mean, wait? Oh my god. Hey, little guy. Oh, uh, you fucker. I always suspected you had a suit stored away somewhere. Who is the man that my beloved mentor trusted even more than me? Scott Lang. Wow, this guy's like one step ahead of everybody. And now he brings me the Ant-Man suit. The only thing that can rival my creation. If you sell to these men, it's going to be chaos. I already have. And for twice the price, thanks to you. It's not easy to successfully infiltrate an Avengers facility. Thankfully, word travels fast. Oh, great. You can stop this, Darren. It's not too late. It's been too late for a long time now. This is not who you are. It's the particles altering your brain chemistry. Wait, 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 wait. I have to be the one to do it. There we go. <sighs> Drop. Your gun. You know, I came to the house the other night to kill him. But you were there. Drop your gun now! You picked the wrong side, Hope. Ooh. Okay, I was really hoping that he was going to be able to get out of there somehow. No! Dad! No! No! Hey, no. Oh man. Take the suit off or I'll blow your brains out and peel it off. Nice. Oh no, 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 no. We got a 1033 at Pim Tech. Request immediate backup. I want to make sure the helicopter's ready to take off. Can you move? Uh. Go get that suit. Oh my gosh. Having so much at a miniature level like this, it just makes for really fun visuals. Scotty! <laughs> Thank you, Louise. Are we the good guys? Yeah. Yes. We're, we're the good guys, right? Yeah, yes. we're the good guys. Louise, you're a good, good guy. <laughs> I'm not gonna die, and neither are you. It's not a keychain. Oh? Multiple shots fired! Oh. <laughs> wow. Let's go! No! Anthony! No! Not Anthony! You're gonna regret that. Did you think you could stop the future with a heist? It was never just a heist! Oh. Great. So what did... What does he do? Okay, so not only can he shrink too, but he's got these like... He's got these like laser things. What the heck? I'm gonna disintegrate you! <laughs> Plane disintegration by the cure. <laughs> Oh boy. No. 
Did he actually just kill him? Please, put your hands up. Get him up. You have to listen to me. No. Okay, yes. Is he dead? That was a really good... That was a really good hit that he made. <laughs> Sending him into the light like that. 236 in progress at 840 Winter Street. Cassie! No. No. Okay, so he's not dead. But I figured that'd be too easy. I'll admit that I really like the look of the yellow jacket suit. Oh, good. Are you a monster? Yeah. Do I look like a monster? Yeah. I want my daddy! I want your daddy, too. There you are. Daddy, is that you? Hi, Peanut. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Well, not just me. <laughs> that'd be so. <laughs> that'd be so wild to watch. <laughs> I love how at their size right now, it feels like this big dramatic thing. And then that choice to pan out to our size to watch the toys, the toy train fall off the tracks. That was perfect. I love humor like that. Bag it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. Bag it up. Bag it up. Come on, Daddy, talk me good. <laughs> uh, I miss YouTube from those days. You know, it'd be much easier to hit you if you were bigger. Yeah, I agree. Whoa. <laughs> How insignificant you are. I would lose my mind if that were me. Oh my god. Freeze! SFPD! I can't break through! It's titanium, you idiot! I'm gonna have to shrink between the molecules to get in there. Get away from us! I love you, Cassie. Damn. Daddy, where are you? You can go sub it. Wow, the visuals of this are awesome. This is a mindfuck, dude. <clears throat> Well, we figured out how to come back from that, so that's pretty cool. Daddy! Uh. I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. I feel a happy ending coming. I'm excited. She's fine. She's fine. <sighs> you don't remember anything. Hank, I, I don't. Wait, he doesn't remember how he came back? Scott, I woke you up. There was a part of me that was almost wondering if Scott was going to run into her in that. Oh, when did this happen? Nothing's happening. Whoa, hold on. Something's kind of happening. Well, if that's the case, uh, shoot me again. Yeah, they wanted a report of the night that you got out of jail. But I told them that you were processed correctly. Really? Well, yeah. Oh, coming around, Paxton. Good. Can't be sending Cassie's dad back to jail on a technical glitch, right? Thank you for everything you do for Cassie. No, no, this one I, I did for you. This is awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Focus. Keep it simple. No, 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 no doubt, no doubt. 
Okay, so I'm at this art museum with my cousin Ignacio, right? And there was this like abstract expressionism exhibit. But you know me, I'm more like a neo cubist kind of guy, right? She's crazy, stupid, fine, right? And the bartenders are all like, I yeah, stand. crazy, stupid, <laughs> fine. So this writer, like, he comes up to me and says, yo, I'm looking for this dude who's new on the scene, who's like flashing this fresh tack, who's got like bomb moves, right? Who you got? I'm looking for a guy that shrinks. So I asked Ignacio, is it the badass to tell the stupid, fine writer chick to tell you, to tell me, because I'm tight with that man, that he's looking for him? What'd he say? He said yes. Uh, funny ending. <clears throat> you know what? I completely forgot about the Stanley cameos. I love that in this movie he showed up right at the literal very end of the film. That's funny. I realized you can't destroy power. All you can do is make sure that it's in the right hands. Ooh. And it's prototype. That your mother and I worked on together. Ooh, is that gonna be hers? She never got to use it. <gasps> but now I realize that we were working on it for you. Oh my gosh, let's go. Yeah, let's finish it because didn't he say it's earlier in the movie? Time. It's about damn time. Didn't he say that his wife was the wasp and there's a movie coming up that's called Ant Man and the Wasp? I'm very excited for that now. Hey, Cap. Oh, oh Bucky. Oh, oh my God. This would have been a lot easier a week ago. If we call Tony, no, he won't believe us. Even if he did. Who knows if the Accords will let him help. The Accords. We're on our own. Maybe not. I know a guy. <gasps> oh my gosh. Falcon wants Ant Man to help them with Bucky stuff. Oh my gosh, I love that we got an update on that. If you enjoyed that reaction, please let me know by clicking that like button down below. And if you're not yet subscribed, you should click that button too. Well, the best way that I can describe how this movie felt to me is if you take Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, A Bug's Life and Ants, and you mush them all together and then you sprinkled a feeling of superhero vibes on top of it. I like those three movies, so all in all, I liked this movie too. I'm generally a fan of movies that show a different perspective of the world, and I do mean that quite literally, so this movie and the way that the ability of Ant-Man was to shrink down very small, that was appealing to me. I did like the visual effects in this film. I loved that we saw navigation and fighting from a whole different perspective, and... Yeah, it was fun. Now, relative to all the MCU films that I have watched so far, now that we are done two whole phases, I will say that in my overall ranking, I do place this movie somewhere between the middle and the bottom. I realized once this movie was done that the formula in this film, the flow of the story was pretty much exactly like the first Iron Man movie. So that's why I enjoyed it, but it's also why I didn't love it. For me, Paul Rudd, Michael Pena, and Corey Stoll completely made this movie, and they are 100% the reason why I will rewatch this in the future. All three of these actors I have enjoyed previous performances of that I've seen, and I really need to like go into their IMDb's and watch more of their stuff, because I do really like all three of them. While Scott Lang and Ant-Man weren't super memorable for me, especially on the scale of like, hero, I do like that we have another regular guy in a suit to kind of add to this group of heroes that we've met so far. And honestly, Paul Rudd is just super great to watch in anything that he's been in. I really enjoy his performances, so because of that, I didn't dislike Scott Lang or Ant-Man. I think that Paul Rudd did great in this movie. Quick note on Michael Pena, I just really love that he brought this like quirky and funny and jokey like best friend buddy vibe to this group of characters that we have in this movie. Luis was great at telling stories. I really love the creative angle that they took with that both at the start of the film and at the end. I just really love how it was filmed. I loved that all of the people he was talking about were like mouthing the exact words that he was saying because obviously they didn't talk exactly like that, but I just love how that was all shot and the way that it was told. It visually kept my interest and attention. Corey Stoll as Darren Cross slash Yellow Jacket was interesting to me. I definitely preferred him more when he was Mr. Suit in his Darren Cross persona, less so when he was in the Yellow Jacket suit. Going back to Iron Man, Cross definitely felt like another Obadiah Stane to me. Of course, he was very like suits and corporate-like and focused on that part of it. I definitely don't think he was at the same level as Obadiah Stane though. And I think for me, it's just possible that Iron Man set such a standard that any movie after it that just follows the same formula is just not gonna be the same as Iron Man. Like that 
that was the first movie coming out. It set a standard and now I just I compare to it and yeah. All that said, I definitely wasn't disappointed by him as a villain. I think that Corey did a really great job. Like I said during the reaction, I have seen House of Cards. I really loved Corey's stolen House of Cards, so I do enjoy watching him on the screen. I also personally find him very physically attractive. He looks great in suits, and the suits that they put him in in this movie were really, really good. Shout out to the costume department. Y'all are real ones. Overall, his motivations and his actions here in this movie just felt very realistic realistic for a fictional story. As for Michael Douglas playing Hank Pym, I enjoyed the character, I enjoyed his performance. In this film, it took us a bit to build up to finally answering the questions that I had and also took a bit to build up to the point where Scott was finally training and learning how to be Ant-Man. Not saying that the pacing was bad or anything, just we definitely had that kind of like slow build to start off the movie, but around the halfway mark is when I really started to enjoy myself. The only minor complaint that I have about Hank's character is I still feel a little bit underwhelmed with like how he chose Scott specifically, especially considering that he had a daughter who was fully aware of everything and could definitely handle the task. It just seems strange that he would pick such a random guy to fulfill this huge task that he had. And I understand why he didn't want his daughter to do it. Like, I know that was explained in the movie, but I don't know. I just have that minor complaint about the story overall and with Hank's character. That being said, the mid credit scene definitely gives me something to look forward to because we see her suit and I know she's gonna be in the suit and I'm very excited to see her and Scott together doing what they do. I am looking forward to that. That's about all I have to say about Ant-Man, but I am really looking forward now to going to Letterboxd to see what some other people have to say. So let's go. <laughs> okay, so I just read this review and I literally Googled it to confirm. Uh, this is a three-star review by Zuzu Pen that says, what I really wanna know is how did Ted Wheeler end up in the MCU? <laughs> Uh, for those unaware, Joe Crest is the actor that plays Ted Wheeler in Stranger Things, and he had the very minor role in Ant-Man. He was that senior executive guy, Frank. I genuinely did not even recognize him. And I am a huge fan of Ted Wheeler in the Stranger Things show. So I am disappointed in myself. Next up, we have probably the shortest letterbox review I've ever seen. It's a three-star review by Josh that simply just says, and meh. I'm sorry, things like this just crack me up. <laughs> Next up, we have a four star review by Indy that says, not to log on with a hot take. It's so fun to see a woman not be blatantly sexualized in these movies for once. And honestly, I didn't even think of that, but I completely agree. Okay, I'm including one more review because I just read this and laughed because same. This is a four star review by Donna that says, hot take, but I think the Ant-Mans and Paul Rudd are more fun than the Guardians of the Galaxies and Chris Pratt. Yep, 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 yep. I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> all right, and with all that out of the way, now I turn to you. Please leave an ant or some kind of bug in your comment down below if you are still watching and listening to me right now. I'm excited to hear your thoughts. Let me know, do you love this movie? Let me know why. Do you not care for this movie? Is this at the bottom of your MCU list? Let me know why. Without spoiling any future movies or installments in the MCU, please and thank you. And with that, thank you so much again for watching. Thank you for being here. If you're not yet subbed to the channel, click over here to do so. And if you wanna continue on watching something of mine, click over here. Thank you to all my YouTube subs, everyone on Patreon, you're the best. And we'll see you in the next reaction video. Take care, everyone.